Ever wonder what separates the casual investor from the master of financial markets? It all boils down to understanding the tools at their disposal, chief among them being derivative products such as futures and options. So buckle up for an exciting journey through the 10 key principles of these financial instruments. First off, what is a derivative? Simply put, a derivative is a financial contract whose value depends on or derives from an underlying asset. This asset could be a stock, bond, commodity, currency, or even an interest rate. Diving in, the first principle to grasp is the concept of futures contracts. A future is a legal agreement to buy or sell an asset at a predetermined price at a specified time in the future. This agreement is binding, meaning the parties involved must fulfill the contract regardless of the market price at the contract's expiration. Secondly, the counterpart to futures, we have options contracts. An option is also a legal agreement, but it gives the holder the right, not the obligation, to buy or sell an asset at a predetermined price within a specific time frame. This flexibility is what sets options apart from futures. Thirdly, keep in mind the role of margin. In futures trading, a margin is a good faith deposit, a fraction of the contract value that needs to be maintained throughout the life of the contract. This ensures the integrity of the market. Fourthly, understand the importance of leverage. Futures and options trading allows for leverage, meaning traders can control a large amount of assets with a relatively small amount of money. However, with great power comes great responsibility as leverage can amplify both profits and losses. Next, the fifth principle is hedging. This is a risk management strategy used to offset potential price movements in the market. Both futures and options contracts can be used to hedge against adverse price movements, providing a safety net for traders and investors. The sixth principle revolves around speculation. Unlike hedging, speculation involves taking on risk with the expectation of making a profit. Traders speculate on the future price movements of the underlying asset in hopes of buying low and selling high or vice versa. Seventh, always remember the principle of pricing. The price of futures and options contracts is determined by various factors, including the price of the underlying asset, the time until expiration, and the risk-free rate of return. The eighth principle is liquidity. Highly liquid markets allow for easy entry and exit, making them ideal for futures and options trading. Always consider the liquidity of the market before entering a trade. The ninth principle is about contract settlement. Futures contracts can be settled in two ways. Through physical delivery of the underlying asset or by cash settlement. Options contracts, on the other hand, can only be settled by exercising the option and buying or selling the underlying asset. Finally, the tenth principle is contract standardization. All futures and options contracts are standardized, meaning they have a fixed quantity, quality, delivery date and place. This standardization increases market efficiency and reduces the risk of default. In summary, futures and options trading offer a wealth of opportunities for savvy investors. By understanding the principles of futures and options from their fundamental concepts to their risk management strategies, anyone can unlock their potential and step into the world of derivatives trading. So next time the financial markets beckon, remember these 10 principles and stride confidently towards your investment goals.